Hello everyone, welcome back to the Geek Plan. I'm Jeff. And I am Jason. And we are here for another episode of the Cantina. Yep. And we have a different style of beer for you guys today. We just did a IPA, double IPA. Yep. An ale with an coffee. Ale. Coffee ale. Yep. And now we are with a sour. So this one I found at one of our local liquor stores that is uh, becoming one of my favorites. It's not my favorite, of course, but you know. Yeah. Um, it's called Hole in One. <laughs> it's from Brewlink Brewing Company. It's a sour ale brewed with jelly donuts in collaboration with Owl's Donuts. I don't know what that is, but this is uh, from Plainfield, Illinois. So, um, okay, it says, our, collabor our collaboration beer with the hometown legends at Owl's Donuts. We took our house sour and in brew link fashion added boxes of jelly donuts. Okay. Imagine just Interesting. stuff and jelly donuts. Yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, I'm picturing that in my head and I'm already like, it's like food porn, but... I'll, I'll give you guys a nice look at the can here. Al's Donuts. Um, Hi, Al. I'm guessing this is a uh, establishment in Illinois, probably maybe somewhere in Chicago. I, we've only been to Chicago a few times. Um, yeah. The artwork, I think. I love the artwork. Well, the thing uh, is, they even mentioned here, cool. like, designing characters by Watto. Like, it's a guy actually designed these characters. Oh, okay. You can see on the back, those little funky dudes right there. Yeah. But then as I cool, went around, uh, you can cool see Cool-ass like artwork. Artwork's cool. Can <laughs> design. <laughs> Dripping. <laughs> but I mean, like, the, even the beer's like, get, it, get it out of me. I'm, a, yeah. I'm not a donut spencer. Yeah. But yeah, it's uh, <laughs> interesting. Hey, it, it, it's enough to catch my eye. It's a sour, I, which, yeah. you know. So today, we're we're on beer number three. Um, I don't... I would love to know if, like, progressively, if you can tell, like, video to video, like, <laughs> stone sober to, like, beer number four or five, like, we're, you know, whatever. Um, no, but we haven't done a sour now in a few, a few beers, years, so. Mm, yeah, yeah. It's time to, time to take it back to where, yeah. you know, we're both, I know I'm a sour fan, he's a sour fan. Because um, of you. Yeah. So you got to make, you know, you got to be... It's got to be a pretty shitty beer for us to not enjoy a sour. Oh, good lord! But okay, so if yeah, you're gonna like if you're gonna tell us it's a jelly donut, um, a you're pretty much spot on as far as color. Yeah, that to me, I can smell it too. Literally, it looks like the filling of a jelly donut. It's got a nice head on it. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> really? Smell it. Oh, that smells good. That's 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 what you want a sour to smell like. It's literally what a jelly donut smells like. Yeah, it does. I mean, aside from you yeah, probably it does. it's just missing that like icing, yeah. freshly dough fried smell. But like if you literally like cut a jelly donut in half and then shoved that right in, into your face. That's what it smells like. Like that's that's that jelly smell. I mean that's that's oh, spot that's on. So good. It so really I'm good. kind of excited to see like if we're gonna get just the jelly part or if we're gonna get kind of like the fried donut that dough yeah. yeast kind of flavor. I, I really hope so because I think that would uh, mesh well with what I'm getting as far as aroma. But I was just looking for ABV and I don't see it. Oh, good. So it's a surprise. Yeah. Surprise, you're drunk. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I'll post it in. I'll post it below so you guys can know. Uh, I always went back to my local liquor store just recently, and they still had like four or five, four packs of this. Comes in a four pack, mm -hmm. 16 ounce can. Most of them come in four packs like that, but uh, yeah, it's still there. Nice. So if it's good, we we know there is more. Well, well, you know. yeah. It, it, it's a new brewery, mm -hmm. um, which is kind of exciting to me. Yeah. You know, this is the first time we've ever done this brewery on the channel. Um, brew Link brewery shit dude all that aside man cheers to al's donuts cheers to brew link let's uh see what we got absolutely cheers that's not bad no it's not um it's what's the word I'm trying to say? it's very jello gel 
jelly flavored. Is that? Yeah. I don't know. It's hard to describe. Yeah. It tastes like the filling inside of a jelly donut. Yeah, that's literally what like it, what it, I really get. I wouldn't put it too high on the tart scale. No, it's I actually very mild. I don't feel like it's very tart. Mm -mm. Maybe a little. Yeah, it's um, it's not bad. No, it's not my favorite sour. No, I would definitely. I was uh, expecting more. I was expecting more of a, of a sour, like kick. I I think I was expecting a little bit of a. It, it does. It has tartness to it. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I'm not trying to say it doesn't have tartness to it. Um. I don't know. Like, I was really hoping to get more of the gel, like the actual donut flavor Mixed in it. In with it yeah. You get the filling flavor. Yeah. Like, if you just ate a spoonful of the jelly donut filling, this is this yeah. is there. It's right there. Um, excuse me. As far as a jelly donut, mm, here's where I have a problem. Yeah, I agree. Um, because I was kind of hoping that the beer itself... I can't get rid of these hiccups. God damn. Um, I was kind of hoping that the beer would kind of give it that doughy kind of flavor. Yeah. On To, to kind of go along with this fruity, jelly-filled, you know, kick that they're trying to go with. But... Not, not to say I wouldn't finish drinking this beer. Correct. Not to say that I would definitely, you know, I would say keep porn. Um, it's not bad. Um, I think my expectations were just set high, yeah, higher than what I'm, what, what, what the beer's delivering. I, I, That's I, what I'll say. I'll say the same thing. I was expecting that jelly donut taste, mm -hmm. not just the inside of the jelly donut, but maybe a little bit of. Like he's saying, like the yeasty kind of donut flavor as well, but I wonder if the sour is like masking that a little bit. It might be. It's got a good flavor for the jelly insides of it. Like it's got a good flavor, but like the tartness. Like I was expecting more of a bite on the front of it, and it's really, it's really very, very yeah. mild sour. This could have been marketed honestly as a <laughs> uh, blue, like a blueberry sour, and I would have never known the difference between what you were telling me if this was just one of those you know if you were to cover up this label pour it for me and have me drink it i would have i would put this right alongside all the like blueberry blackberry sours that i've had yeah just from that initial flavor um yeah i, I agree with you on that yeah yeah because it's just a it's just a pungent berry it flavor. is it's just a lot of uh, uh, of different berry flavors that you're getting here and there but I you know like I said you're not I'm not getting any kind of fried donut no. flavoring from it mm -hmm. I don't know what you know what direction the brewery is actually trying to go with there's almost with no aftertaste either it's like, no there's it's not like, it's like it's gone yeah it's just you just yeah. kind of sit there with that little bit of sour bite and that's it yeah I mean, eh. The bad thing is, is that compared to so many of the other beers that we've had now on this channel, you know, that we're kind of building our, our portfolio, and, you know, we're, we're always giving a thumbs up, thumbs down. When you're going to take this beer and you're going to put it up against some of the other things that we've drank on this channel... Like, that's the bad part. Like, yeah. I would not recommend, or, you know, I would recommend somebody trying this beer because I don't think it's that bad. But would I just be like, hey, that's a phenomenal beer? No. No. I wouldn't personally. No. That's just my, that's just my, you know, like I said, tell me something's going to taste like something. You know, I, I, I at least want it to somewhat taste like that, and that's that's only that's my only qualm with with the whole thing that's going on here. Um, the flavor fades so quickly. It does. And and like I said, it's 
if it, if it just was marketed as a berry sour, you hit the nail on the head. Yeah. But uh, I'm I'm just not getting everything that you know you're you're saying that I, I don't I, I don't taste that a, 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 all these donuts were dumped into the I don't. the sour. No. You know yeah, I just I don't, don't get that. I, don't I feel like that's just a load of BS. But it's definitely a beer that I'm not I wouldn't stop drinking. You know I'm gonna finish it. I'm not gonna go buy any more though. No. No. I wouldn't. There's way more. There's way better sours out there right now I can get. Yeah. Disappointing. Because, like I said, it's it's a uh, it's not a local brewery, but I mean, you know, they're they're close to us. Really cool artwork, you know. It's a brewery that I've never heard of. Mm. Um, yeah, it kind of it kind of blows, but and I bought it in a four pack too. I didn't buy it in the build of six. This was a, a so place you bought the hold four, the hold four. E. So yeah. Um, oh I mean, yeah, because you got it from yeah yeah not, yeah. So mm -hmm. unfortunately. I will always recommend if you can find a place that you can break things down and build a six with it, Do go it. there and continue to go there. This place I got this from, I really like it. He does a great job getting beers and getting some new stuff in. Mm -hmm. I just wish he'd let you break it apart. And I understand that maybe he's worried about just having a bunch of leftovers of singles. Like there's a couple other places around here that do the same thing. They're like, they will let you break them, but they're like, please don't. If, if you if you don't have to, don't do it. But this is why. Now I've got three beers that are I, I'm I can drink it. I get some of those things I can. If I'm editing video or sitting up here just doing something. I'll sit back and maybe just drink it. And yeah. Not think about it because it's my biggest qualm with it is the flavor is just it's there immediately. Then it's gone really quickly once you swallow that. Once you, when, there's literally hardly any aftertaste to it at all. Mm -hmm. It sucks. It, it does. Um, yeah. That's yeah. that's the disappointing part about. You know what what we got going on here it smells really good though it's unfortunate it smells great yeah. yeah it smells just like like i said like if somebody cut a jelly donut in half shoved it right in your face that's spot on yeah it is you nailed that but as far as you know giving me know. giving me that jelly donut flavor i just i really am not getting that um no. this is you know i don't even want to ask you know <clears throat> what what the price tag on it was <laughs> But it wasn't horrible for for a four pack of that's pants. Good. It wasn't horrible. That's good to know. I mean, yeah. like I said, around here it's not known too well of, of a brewery, yeah. so that's probably why you know a lot of people do buy just based off brewery alone. They know uh, brewery. I can't even say it. Brewery. Brewery known. Yeah, a lot of people do that. Um. Yeah. So for them to walk in and, and spot this and then look at it and say, well, I've, I've never heard of this brewing company. I Why the hell would I buy this? Um, a lot of people aren't like me and you where we like to try yeah, a bunch of different shit. Yeah, we, we're going to pick up anything that kind of piques our curiosity where there's other people, they're scared to spend the money. They're scared to venture down those roads. We get it. Um, hell, that's kind of why we do the things that we do you know just to see if people actually do get online and look to see if, you know anybody else has tried this beer yeah. and what they thought about it yeah. before they go out and chuck 15 to 20 bucks out for a four pack so if this was a beer that we tried it you know when we first started the cantina i might be like hey you know thumbs up great beer for you to go out and try you know but <laughs> we've had so many sours and so many amazing beers that now it's kind of like you've got something that you, you got a standard to, to kind of to go up against yeah. you know it unfortunately yeah. i I'm, I'm thumbs down in this beer and the way i look at it too is like would i go out and buy this again no so that that automatically right there tells me i'm going to go thumbs down with it mm -hmm. unfortunately because i wouldn't go out and buy anymore right um uh, sorry a thumbs up for me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you that you know. I really enjoy it. If you see it out there, get it. And I would go back for more. I'm kind of basing it on that. Like, would I go buy this again? Yeah. No, I wouldn't. So that's, I, I, that's why I'm gonna go thumbs down because I can't recommend it. Yeah, I can't. It's hard. And it's, it like buying a four pack. It I think it was like seventeen something uh, for the four pack. Which isn't like the worst thing I. I mean, it's not the worst I've ever paid for a four pack, unfortunately. Still, yeah, still over three dollars a can. Yeah, but. so I can't. I can't recommend it at that price for a four pack. I mean, 
I can't. If, if it might have been something great to to like you said, bust Bill into a cent. Yeah, mm-hmm. bill of six. Throw one of those yeah. in there. You know, hell, maybe three or four beers into your your night, you crack into this thing and like, hey, I got that. Let me yeah. get, let me get rid of that. You don't even give a shit by then. You're just like, man, it's beer. I don't even care. I know. I know. I'm I'm drunk. Let's. <laughs> It doesn't well, say Coors, Bush, Miller, or Bud on it, so I'll drink it. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't taste like cat <laughs> urine. Um, <laughs> but but no. yeah, it, it would be. It would be one of those beers where, like, later on in the evening, if I had a few in me, you know, and I'm just trying to keep the party going, and and I've been drinking sour beers all night, like I'd drink that, and I would never think twice. Yeah, you know, but. Like I said, if we're going to sit here and we're going to nitpick things like we do and kind of go off flavor and aroma and kind of, you know, this is what you're selling me. This is what you're selling me. I kind of want to get that out of what you're telling me I'm supposed to be drinking. If that's missing, that's the hard part. You know, that's the part for where, you know, at least me personally, I can't I can't say like I would personally recommend it. Yeah, I mean, that's it. Yeah, that's that's really all the all we're going. We're not saying it's a bad beer. Now, would this stop me from disgusting beer? Correct. And would it stop me from buying something else that they made if I could find it in like a a single? No, never. Um, If I have two or three from that brewery and I still can't, I still haven't had one I liked. That's when I'm like probably not going to do that brewery again. Kind of a thing. Right. Uh, Fortunately, though, in, in what we've been doing, I haven't found that yet, which is great. So. I've had we we've had a couple of beers from beer, breweries we love that are just nope can't do that one. Been down that road. I would still buy something from them, and the fact that they're you know located in Plainfield. Uh, I'm sorry, I kept saying Illinois. It's Indiana. Is it really? Yeah. Holy shit. I'm gonna go back and re and re and uh, correct that at the beginning. Like Dove Dove over. Yeah. <laughs> We're from Indiana. Indiana. <laughs> but no, you'll see you'll see something at the very beginning where it says. Correction, Indiana, Illinois, but yeah, it's Indiana. Yeah, because we're that's up near Indy. Fucking idiots. That's up near Indy. Yeah, so, yeah. Something we could actually go up to the brewery and check it out. But I mean, uh, being an Indiana brewery, I mean, that makes sense that it's there's a few of them sitting there. It makes sense. Yeah, I uh, mean, it's like that was new from the Terre Haute Brewing Company. They're pushing mm-hmm. hardcore right now. Yeah, in-state dis- distribution. I mm-hmm. mean, that's literally r- what it is. Just like. I was discussing about Tin Man in one of the previous videos. If you guys were watching, um, they they did get a quite a push here in the state of Indiana. Oh, yeah. They I think they even went, like, went down into Louisville in yeah, some parts. Were, yeah, it, it, it's just like one of those uh, kind of local. You know, you 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 give that kind of push to these local breweries mm-hmm. to see how well they are, and I think. Yeah. When you're distributing within the state, I think it's a lot easier than when you're trying to distribute outside the state. I don't know. I don't know. These fucking liquor laws are so all over the place anymore. They, but they need to be a blanket across the country. It really does. But it really um, does. I mean, it's, just, it's, it's all that aside. Shit. Once again, fuck, uh, off, fuck off, Tri Counties. Yeah, but uh, yeah. yeah. It's unfortunate. I, I hate not being able to recommend a beer. I hate it because I know I, I'm sure they put a lot of time and effort into, into like figuring this out and trying to make it taste the way they wanted to and. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you do brew link, if you do end up watching this, we, we still will try something in the future from you guys. So every bit of it, yeah. So I mean, like I said, I, guess, I hate. Yeah. I, we both hate doing that, we, but we're, we do have to do thumbs down on it, unfortunately. So. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm just giving my honest opinion. Yeah, so that's what that's what you guys want from us. I mean, that's what we want to do. That that's what we decided to do this for. We were like, let's do something like this. Talk about some beers because we love both love beer. Mm-hmm. Let's just give our honest opinion about it. Because yeah. I mean, we're not like there are still some other beer channels out there that are really, really like. Mm, I smell this. I smell this. I do this, and then they, you know, they're really, really, and I and I get that, and they work. It works for them. Yeah, we just like beer. Yeah. We like good beer. So I'm not some I'm not some classically trained professional mm-hmm. that that's going to sit there and be able to pinpoint every note and every goddamn ingredient <laughs> that you know this is brewed with this hops and this and that. <laughs> what the fuck ever, you know. That's the way I look at it, but. <laughs> If it's um, good. I'll tell you it's good. Yeah, it I, I, it's I'm bad. gonna be I'm gonna be damn honest with my opinion, and I'm not gonna sit there and like pussyfoot around what I think about something, which, like he said, this is the reason why we kind of decided to do the, what we're doing right mm-hmm. here. We're not persuaded by anybody. We're not pushed in a certain direction because this brewery is, you know, it, our our friend works there, or yeah. we got family. It, it it is what it is. Um, 
and and that's just my god honest given opinion all that aside you know we didn't mean to rain on your parade brewling um or sh you know pissing your cheerios but um gotta be honest we're definitely gonna try beers yeah. from you guys in the future absolutely absolutely yeah uh, we do appreciate you guys watching this episode of the cantina mm -hmm. uh, we do like so do we do hate doing the thumbs down thing but we we had to do it this time so hopefully next time we'll be a little bit better but um we still hope you guys enjoyed watching this from us and enjoying what we like have to say about these beers and and I think that's why people come to the channel to watch these cantina episodes because we've had a lot of people lately after the big sub sub count we've got like we've jumped up this over a thousand is they really like this content and they like what we do with it so appreciate you guys watching and checking it out so and uh, uh, please leave a like on the video it does help us out here on the channel and if you're new to the channel and you you've never seen this before but you do like what you see hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell for notifications so you can stay up to date on everything we do here on the channel including new episodes of the cantina every Tuesday so keep an eye out for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And in the description below, you'll find links to like our social media, our Discord, and our Patreon. Our Discord continues to grow every week. And our Patreon, if you guys want to donate to the channel and help us out, you can. You can do it for as little as a dollar a month, and it does help us out immensely. Going towards new equipment and new things like this and helping us do these kind of crappy reviews for you. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Patreon, I want to say thank you to all our patrons that we have currently. Your names will be scrolling below us right now. Uh, we, we appreciate all you guys do for the channel, and we thank you very much. Awesome. This is the Geek Blend, and I'm Jeff. I'm Jason. And if you geek about it, we're going to speak about it. Exactly. What he said. Yeah. See you guys next time.